welcome back to my channel and for those who are just finding out about this channel welcome so happy you're here in this video i am like kind of nervous because i don't want to get my hopes up you know but i'm excited because i have a tinted moisturizer that i've been dying to try and just a tinted moisturizer in general because i've seen people use these tinted moisturizers and they are the bomb like it saves you so much time in your routine i'm having a really rough time with my face um i want to say that you know it's from a little bit of stress i guess um maybe environmental too because my face is like super sensitive to like everything like i'm getting like a, a blemish here it just needs a little bit of help so i figured you know what i'm i've been excited to try this so you know what i might as well just try it on camera share my results with you guys and let you know if it's worth the hype and you know if it's better than my usual concealer thing so <laughs> let's do it I just have my brows on i concealed them a little bit to make them a little bit more neat um but yeah that's basically all i have on my face what i am kind of iffy or kind of like on the fence um about is how i'm gonna apply this moisturizer because it is a moisturizer what i think i'm gonna do is apply a little bit of my serum put some of my primer and then layer on the tinted moisturizer because it is supposed to be um sort of like stepping in where foundation um would be so i'm just gonna do that and see how it applies and <laughs> just wish me luck because i hope that i don't like ruin like the base of this so i'm gonna go on with my tea tree oil serum boop it up booping it up I'm just putting a little bit on my face kind of like our moisturizer for the moisturizer if that makes sense oh my god now you're gonna see my ugly like redness and it's just horrible and now i'm gonna go in with my putty primer and this is the one from elf i absolutely love it so so much this is the matte putty primer all right um i have a feeling that i'm not applying it like the way a lot of people do it they probably just put it on their skin because it is a moisturizer but i'm like if it's gonna if i'm gonna wear this as like in place of foundation i want it to stay all day i don't want it sheening out you know um coming up on my skin i want it to have you know that longevity this is the tinted moisturizer that i'm gonna be using um, so this tinted moisturizer is from Neutrogena. It's the healthy skin line, I guess. Um, illuminating tinted moisturizer. And it has SPF 30 in it. It's lightweight, antioxidant blend, oil free. And I got the shade light to medium. Um, I got this shade because I have this exact same shade, light to medium, the name light to medium, um, in my Maybelline concealer and it works really well with my skin i didn't want to get light because i looked too too pale for me so i just went with the light medium um coverage and it apparently it says glow shears so i don't think it's gonna be full coverage um i bamboozled my own self sheer natural coverage just a touch of shimmer for a radiant healthy look so basically it's gonna make us look like it's our own skin which i so dig um and i'm gonna use just my hands because it's apparently the most moisturizer i don't want to like 
be too bougie with it, you know? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take some and put it on the back of my hand and kind of warm it up and then apply it on my... I'm hoping that this looks, this looks a little dark. Um, will it, maybe it'll level out on my face when I rub it in. Uh, oh, let me find out. Let me find out. Let me just see if I just put it all over and let it do that little sit thing. You know, I like to let the product sit a little bit on my face. Um, oh, oh my God, it smells like sunscreen. <laughs> like, wow, that's, oh my God, it's so amazing. It smells like sunscreen, idiot. It has SPF 30 in it. Like, oh my God. Guys, guys. Oh, wow. It, it's making me glimmer, honey. It is making me glimmer, glimmer. I mean, what? So it did, yeah, it's making me glow, honey. I feel like it sit well on my face. What I want to do is continue and see how it, you know, reacts and kind of sits with the other products that I use. So I'm going to do a little bit of under eye um, concealer with my handy dandy Maybelline concealer and see how it kind of blends, if that makes sense. With this, I'm going to take this concealer brush and just pat the concealer in the area that I placed it. It basically just blended right in. Okay, now that, that looks pretty good under the eyes. Now I'm gonna do my acne. I put it all over my face <laughs> because I have this acne and it's just absolutely treacherous. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna lay, let it sit for a, maybe like a minute and let it get a little bit, I guess, tacky. Um, let it oxidize just a tinge. And then we're gonna go back and we're going to buff it out with this concealer. Wow guys, so the Tinted Moisturizer and my concealer blended seamlessly um, and it really helped to make my skin look like <laughs> I have like this superhuman skin. Um, yeah, it looks super natural um, and I'm so happy that, oh my gosh, guys, I'm definitely I'm definitely investing in this because it feels super lightweight on my face. Oh my god. I, guys, I'm just gonna finish up this look by doing, you know, a little bit of eye. Um, I want to keep it as natural as possible, so I'm just gonna try to um, even out the, the lids. Um, they're super oily. <laughs> Love that for me. Gonna prime the lid a little bit. I'm using the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette right here. I'm taking that middle shade, that kind of um, creamish ivory shade, and just kind of just rubbing it and blending all kind of where my um, brow bone is and over my crease area. I'm going to take this outer shade right here, this orange, this pretty orange. I'm taking the same side of that brush 
tapping excess off and focusing now in the crease of my eye. Using that same palette, I'm going to go in with this beautiful copper right here and I'm just going to rub it on my index finger, pat my index finger, and I'm just applying it to the area where I place note color. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go in with some nude lipstick, and this is Fenty's Mademoiselle in the shade Up to No Good, and I just like to tap it onto my lips. I feel like it's a perfect nude shade for me, and it's so close to the color of my lips that I don't want it to look chalky on me or like um washed out so okay guys that is the final look using the tinted moisturizer and it is absolutely ridiculous so dope I love how it gave the skin a natural finish and this beautiful glow didn't even have to put any highlighter on at all um yeah it's so so amazing i am i'm just lost for words it's an amazing product lightweight and oil free which is amazing because i do have oily skin it blended so seamlessly with my favorite concealer so that was like a plus for me so yeah i will be definitely using this when i'm um in a rush and i can't really do my full concealer look yeah this is i totally recommend this for anyone who really isn't into makeup but wants um some coverage but coverage done quick i uh, yeah it did help with my redness um it did cover my acne to an extent i did have to put a little bit of my concealer on just to give it that lock and you know diminish it a little bit more to my liking but yeah it is it's awesome i 10 out of 10 i am very very happy that it turned out you know looking good and looking like my skin and looking really natural if you use tinted moisturizer if you have any more suggestions i am so excited to hear if you guys use tinted moisturizers how they work for you um any tips on applying them would be absolutely great uh yeah please guys let me know thanks so much for tuning in and as always stay gorgeous oh my god right let me just let me just leave before but i'll go all day with this until next time bye <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,